private and public sectors into research and development of products and services that will combat the superbug menace is playing a crucial role in helping the NHS to eliminate bacteria and reduce the risk of infection and cross-contamination of hospital patients. As well as being wary of superbugs, patients don't want to share their hospital beds with unwelcome guests. Today, there are new innovations that protect patients against dust mites and unpleasant odours, as well as against mildew and moulds. In this programme, we speak to Derek Butler, Chairman of MRSA Action UK, the charity set up to raise public awareness and to influence government and healthcare providers in the fight against hospital superbugs and other infections, including ones caused by dust mite allergens. We also hear from hygiene and antimicrobial innovators Sanitised, Vican UK Limited and Quest International who share their knowledge of fighting hospital infections and talk about the research and development that has gone into developing their antimicrobial innovations. MRSA Action UK is a small charity that was formed in October 2005 by a group of people who met on uh, the internet on a discussion forum. And at that time, there were various groups in the country supporting victims of healthcare infections, but there was no registered charity. Um, and we felt it was important that there be a registered charity to support those victims. So 11 of us formed MRSA Action UK. And the name came about because the 11 founder members had all been affected by that bacterium MRSA. Um, but we wanted to be able to lobby government and it, we felt it was better to do that as a charity. MRSA is a bacterium that's been created by our overuse of antibiotics, particularly the antibiotic methicillin which was developed in the late 1950s and introduced in the early 1960s. It is not a superbug in the fact that it isn't something that cannot be cured. It is a superbug because it's hard to treat and there are only a very few antibiotics uh, available at the moment that will treat MRSA bacteremias. Millions of people are afflicted by allergies worldwide and the number is growing. In the UK, one out of three people suffer from allergies and up to half of those affected are children. Dust mites are one of the most widespread causes of allergies. Dust mites and bacteria do not make a stop at the door of your home. They feel at home where you do. Do you want to have dust mites in your bed? Antimicrobials and textiles help reduce dust mites and their allergens. This can be of great assistance to allergy sufferers and increases their quality of life. Recent scientific studies and tests prove the durable effectiveness of an antimicrobial treatment on bedding and home textiles, carpets and mattresses. Our products offer optimal protection, long-lasting freshness and comfort. A large variety of home textiles like bed linen, pillow covers, mattress protectors, curtains, furniture, carpets, etc can be treated with an allergy-free finish, so people suffering from allergies can relax and breathe easily in their home. This pillow cover, for example, is treated with sanitized hygiene function, so dust mites cannot settle on it. Bedding articles treated with sanitized can be found in the UK at Delisha Charles. Bacteria and mildew grow easily in humid and warm places. With an antimicrobial treatment, they don't have a chance. Antimicrobials not only help improve hygiene in bedding and home articles, but also protect household articles like kitchen surfaces, sinks, cutting boards, refrigerators from mildew and mold infestation. In your bathroom, items like shower curtains, tile root, towels, floor mats can be treated with an antimicrobial for effective protection against bacteria and mildew. Other applications are upholstered furnitures, textile wall coverings and terry clothes towels. The sanitized hygiene function acts like a built-in deodorant and effectively reduces the development of unpleasant odors on closing even during heavy perspiration. Your clothes remain fresh longer, you feel comfortable and confident all day long. Let's look at another field of use. Hospital surroundings which demand highest hygiene standards and safety. We recently launched a new product series specifically for this market named Sanitized Medix 200 series. This product line fulfills all the strict requirements for these applications and permanently and reliably inhibits the growth of bacteria in medical devices. 
We act, not just talk, and do this voluntarily. We have been awarded the Responsible Care Certificate proving our commitment to constant improvement in health, safety and environmental protection beyond all regulatory requirements. Our products are BlueSign approved and work with manufacturers that cooperate with BlueSign to help use the world's natural resources ecologically. This is one of our main goals, also at consumer level. Really, it's quite simple with a sanitized hygiene function. Perspiration odor cannot develop, clothing can be worn longer, reducing laundry frequency and necessary washing temperatures. That helps to save detergent use, water and most importantly energy. We are an ecologically conscious company. All our products contain only scientifically researched and registered active ingredients and meet the strictest international guidelines and standards. Our products have proven outstanding skin compatibility and are safe for the men and environment. This is why ecologically oriented companies like Marks and Spencers are using our products for articles like socks and men's underwear. Sanitize stands for quality, safety and sustainability. Our articles offer freshness, comfort and protection all the time for everyone including persons suffering from allergies. If you are looking for the best quality seal in antimicrobials, look for Sanitize. When you go into a hospital, the first thing you'll notice is a couple of things. One is that you don't smell like hospitals used to do. There isn't the same smell of disinfectant. But the other one is, is that they're quite warm in a hospital. You go in and it's a real eye-opening. It's, it's, the temperature's around 70 degrees, which is quite a, a nice temperature to be in a hospital with. But it actually is a good temperature for, for bacteria to breed in as well. Now, in the olden days, they used to throw all, all the windows in the old hospital, the old Victorian type hospitals, and let a lot of fresh air in, and they were quite cool. Now, I can understand why they don't do that with patients in hospitals today, but fresh air is critical in the fight against healthcare infections because Florence Nightingale showed that if a patient's got access to fresh air, they recover quicker. And that is, is because of the properties in the atmosphere, such as ozone is one. And um, bacteria do not like fresh air they like a nice warm humid temperature to breathe in so fresh air is critical beacon uk have been a producer manufacturer and distributor of uh, tools and equipment for the cleaning industry in over 100 years their major markets where they de uh, develop products for are the likes of the the healthcare industry the the food industry both in uh, food processing and uh, food food retail this has been their focus area uh, for many years and they are known uh, throughout Europe. Vicon is owned by the Viesing Foundation, which is a charitable organisation that contributes um, its uh, yearly profits uh, to uh, medical research. The whole Vicon ethos is uh, to develop and produce uh, tools for the cleaning industry where hygiene is essential. Traditionally, the NHS uh, cleaning has been done with uh, disposable wipes in combination with chemicals. These chemicals can be uh, harmful uh, to, the, to, to the end users, to the buildings they're used in, to the surfaces they're used on, and uh, also to the environment in general. Uh, some scientists uh, have, have proven that uh, bacteria uh, become uh, uh, immune to, to these, uh, uh, these chemicals. Uh, and this is a, a problem going on. Also, uh, in relation to floor cleaning, can, uh, Kentucky mops and sucker mops are basically regurgitating the bacteria that is taken from the floor back onto the floor surfaces because these uh, Kentucky mops and pocket mops are, are put, uh, the dirty mops are being put into clean water. Uh, and this clean water is being contaminated with the bacteria. The bacteria then is uh, put onto the floor surfaces. We must, we must re eradicate this from the, the NH, uh, NHS. Uh, looking abroad for best practices both in Europe uh, and throughout the world, uh, it has also come into some sectors in the UK where they use microfiber flat mopping. This uh, form of, uh, of cleaning is 50% uh, quicker than can, uh, uh, Kentucky, uh, Kentucky mop and soccer mop cleaning. Uh, you're reducing the time spent cleaning, improving 
uh, the, uh, at the level of uh, uh, cleanliness on the floor and also giving the, uh, the end user more time to clean the special touch points that had to be focused on. These touch points are, are very important to keep them clean because it's the areas that people within the, in the hospital, whether it be patients or visitors or staff, are touching all the time. It's creating a cross contamination where we can use microfiber cloths to reduce the level of bacteria on these touch points uh, so we can re re reduce the level of risk, risk of these superbugs that are, that are plaguing the NHS. Vegan UK and the Vegan Group have uh, developed and manufactured uh, a cleaning concept specially designed for the needs and the requirements of the healthcare industry. This is called Vegan AeroClean. The two columns that uh, back up Vegan AeroClean or that Vegan AeroClean is built upon are hygiene and air economics. If we take the hygiene section first, we have, uh, well, uh, Vegan AeroClean has been tested independently uh, by the University uh, College Hospitals of London, uh, where they have taken uh, Vegan Ultra Microfiber and, uh, with water and tested it on surfaces where those surfaces have been impregnated with the bacteria spores, the likes of, the likes of C. diff, which is one of the uh, hospital infections that plagues uh, the, the NHS in the UK. Uh, it, uh, the results of this independent test have shown that uh, microfiber with just water alone can uh, remove completely these spores from surfaces. The second column that uh, Vegan AgroClean is built upon is ergonomics, as in the name Vegan AgroClean. The ergonomics is incredibly important, uh, not just uh, so that the domestic uh, has a lower level of, of, of sick time, a lower level of strain in their work, it also spe speeds up the process and improves the quality. An example of uh, how we've built ergonomics into the whole concept is uh, the, the uh, unique mop release system we have within AgroClean. So managers and domestics alike can be confident they are working with the world's leading manufacturer of, of hygiene tools and equipment. Vegan AgroClean has been proven to significantly reduce the number of hospital acquired infections while still reducing the cost and time taken for cleaning today. Fresh air is critical in the fight against healthcare infections because Florence Nightingale showed that if a patient's got access to fresh air, they recover quicker. And that is, is because of the properties in the atmosphere, such as ozone is one. And um, bacteria do not like fresh air. They like a nice, warm, humid temperature to breathe in. So fresh air is critical. Quest International was formed in 1994, basically as a, as a problem solver in industry. One of the particular things for the health service we were concerned about was the high degree of horror stories about people dying with health-related health in, uh, infections being created and we turned our mind to in fact looking at a more effective way a really a, a step forward in being able to treat um, poor air quality in, that was perceived to be poor in hospitals and clinics. In this age NHS hospitals and the employees within have to work a lot harder at providing a safe haven for patients as you'll hear later, patients only go into hospital when they're ill, which generally means they have a, a reduced uh, immune system. Problems latterly have been that um, what are known as healthcare acquired infections or superbugs in the media have become more prevalent. Um, in reality, a healthcare acquired infection could be described as something that somebody acquires whilst they are in the care of the health authority that they didn't have before they went in. The air manager equipment is built around our novel close couple field technology which is our patented equipment. By drawing air into the equipment we do one of four things to it. We kill it, destroy it, denature it or arrest it. That basically means if it's living, bacteria, yeasts, mould, spores or endospores which are some of the hardest pathogens to destroy because they're just like a, a, a chemical safe. It's storage of, of information to, to allow bacteria to regenerate at a later date. We actually kill 
those pathogens and destroy them to what's known as log 5, 99.999%. It actually scientifically allows us to claim sterility of the air that passes through the equipment. But the story doesn't stop with just one piece of equipment for one room. Our technology is ultimately scalable. So we can provide that level of reduction for any volume of air. However, that's just the bacterial side. When we start talking about other forms of pathogens, and we all know what the viruses are at the moment, uh, unfortunately with the advent of swine flu, um, we look at viruses and we reduce those at a level that is unprecedented. Viruses, are, irrespective of what they are, belong to just one of four families, scientifically that is. Either single-strand DNA or double-strand DNA, or single-strand or double-strand of RNA chemical data. And we actively destroy viruses at what's known as log 10, which is 99.89s. It's a level of destruction that we know can provide the best available protection for the patients, the employees and the visitors within the healthcare setting. Initially, we went, I went down one path of research and very, very quickly realised that it, it wasn't valid and that something new would be required. And that then started the ongoing process of developing, again, what we now know as close couple field technology as a solution to a particular problem. It was from that that uh, we initially started selling very, very effectively into nursing homes, dealing with the problematical problems caused by incontinence, really to provide a better quality of life to the, um, to the patients who were living in nursing homes. Um, because, let's face it, if there, there, there are smells or other problems there, we don't want people being embarrassed. So it was a process of actually saving that embarrassment. From there onwards, um, we had this um, feedback from one of the doctors in a major nursing home who'd had patients coming back a couple of years before with the superbug Clostridium difficile, or C. diff as we know it. And he asked me, Did we, had we done any microbiological work with the unit? And I said, well, no, it kills smells. He said, well, I think you should do. Simply because of that we put one into an environment when somebody came back with C. diff and there was no other reported incidence of cross-infection in the home. Previously, within two days of a patient coming back in without the equipment, all 39 people in a home had become ill and some had died. So we realised very, very quickly that we were onto something from a microbiological point of view. That then led us into half a billion pounds of research, basically, to say this is what it did on the tin so that people with confidence could, and health professionals could look and evaluate the technology and see how best then they could apply it in their own particular environments, whether it be on the wards or in a laboratory, um, a food laboratory or a pathology lab. It doesn't make any difference. They've all got similar problems. In 1942, the government issued two nice posters for during the war to remind people about the problems of infection. The first one, most people in England still remember, and that's coughs and sneezes spread diseases. The second one was a handkerchief in time, saves nine. What did they know in 1942 that we don't know now? We developed the close couple field technology to provide a solution to the airborne route of infection and to be part and parcel of the infection control loop. We were given ringing endorsements by the Department of Health when we passed our rapid review program, uh, program and just recently have um, been one of the winners in the Smart Solutions Programme, again placed by the government to actually look at providing effective treatments in three distinct areas, surfaces, people and air. Just one extra cleaner on a hospital ward can save lives and money, according to research sponsored by Unison, the UK's largest public service union. The detailed study found that one extra cleaner using targeted cleaning methods had a measurable effect on the clinical environment, cutting the amount of patients contracting superbugs and saving the hospital an estimated 30 to 70,000 pounds. If this was replicated in every ward of every hospital, many lives and millions of pounds would be saved. I'm Joanna Lowy and you've been watching the antimicrobial revolution breathing life into the NHS.